biology. Yes, today we will be studying about the circulatory system of a human body. Trillions of cells in your body needs the continuous supply of oxygen and nutrients to carry out their vital functions. But cells can only be used when they are in the immediate decision. Your body must have a transportation system to carry out the dissolved gases and nutrients to its various cells. This system is known as your circulatory system. Every second of every day, trillions of cells in your body pick up nutrients and drop off wastes. The circulatory system must have a way of picking up and discarding substances within the blood. It is in the lungs where the carbon dioxide from the returning blood is dropped off and fresh oxygen is picked up. The circulatory system is a network consisting of the heart and the blood vessels. It supplies oxygen and other nutrients to the cells and removes waste products. The circulatory system helps in delivery of oxygen to cells, delivery of nutrients to cells and removal of waste from the cells. The blood formed within your blood vessels is a fluid that transports oxygen and nutrients to the body and collect waste that have to be removed from the body. The flow of blood in the blood vessels will either be moving from the lungs or away from the lungs. Our body uses blood vessels which are hollow tubes for carrying the blood. The blood found in our blood vessels transport oxygen, nutrients and cell wastes throughout the body. There are two types of blood vessels in our body. Arteries carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the cells and veins carry deoxygenated blood from the cells to the lungs to reoxygenate the blood. Our heart is the ultimate workaholic in our body. In 24 hour period of time, your heart pumps your body's full complete blood that is about 5.5 liters through the blood vessels and up to 1500 times. The heart along with the miles of blood vessels present in your body makes up a circulatory system. The heart relaxes while relieving the blood and contracts or squeezes when pumping out the blood. Our heart is divided into four chambers, the upper part and the lower part. The heart circulates the blood by contracting and relaxing at a fixed period of time. The two lower sections of the heart is called the ventricles and the two upper parts of the heart is known as atria or singular atrium. The deoxygenated blood from the body enters the right atrium first. Then, from the right atrium, the blood travel to the right ventricle. In the right ventricle, there is an outlet known as the pulmonary artery. And from here, the blood travels to the lungs to get oxygenated. After the oxygenated blood, it returns to the heart at the left atrium through the pulmonary vein and from here the blood is then traveled to the left ventricle. The left ventricle has the main artery of our body, aorta. The aorta is the main passage for the body to get fresh blood. The doctors use 
special instrument to hear the heartbeat of our body clearly. And that instrument is called the stethoscope. The right side of the heart receives the old or deoxygenated blood and sends it through the pulmonary circuit where the blood is sent to the lungs to pick up oxygen and release. The circulation from the right side of the heart to the lungs and back to the heart completes the pulmonary circuit. In the lungs, the lungs passage will end up in the great black avioli that is tiny air filled balloons. This makes the lung and gives them the spongy consistency. Wrapped around this is a massive network of blood vessels that gives the lungs their pinkish color.